His dad is a zombie and his mom is a unicorn. Don't know how that works and I don't want to get too much <laughs> into thinking about it because anyway, let's just look at the doll. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Chad and today I have another Monster High doll for you. And I'm really excited for this one because it is probably one of my favorite characters, if not my favorite character from Monster High. So today I'm going to be reviewing and unboxing Nathan Rott from the Freaky Fusion. Yeah, Freaky Fusion. Uh, line or the Freaky Fusion movie. Um, so this whole thing was uh, about hybrids. So it was it was where each character is kind of like a combination monster where their parents like one was one thing and one's another. Um, for example, Nathan is half zombie, half unicorn. So um, his dad is a zombie and his mom is a unicorn. Don't know how that works, and I don't want to get too much into thinking about it because, anyway, let's just look at the doll. <laughs> um, anyway, so along with Nathan, they also have um, Serena Von Boo, of course, who is half ghost and half mermaid. Um, I do have her as a doll, but I got her secondhand from eBay, maybe? Or from a thrift store. Anyway, she's basically complete. I'm pretty sure it was probably from eBay. Um, but she definitely needs to be cleaned up. So that's probably going to be a separate video sometime. I don't know when I'm going to do that. But um, if you guys want to see like those transformation videos, my Rainbow High hair tutorial transformation video did pretty well. So maybe I'll do more of those kind of videos if that's something that you guys enjoy watching. And then of course, there's also Bonita Femur who is half moth and half skeleton and um avia trotter who is half harpy and half horse or no half harpy half centaur i think i don't know anyway um so yeah it's basically what it is it's it's when monster high was tackling the subject of mixed race and it's it's very interesting because you know talking about like representation and inclusivity when it comes to doll lines, especially like just Monster High in general, because they did so well at that, in my opinion. Um, they tackled a lot of these like hard subjects to talk about and did it in a way that's understandable and digestible for children, um, which I think is really, really cool. So when you're talking about like a biracial family uh, and you did do it in a way where it's like half zombie, half unicorn, and like, you know, in, in, in just bringing it to them in a context that they can understand, you know, it's just a very interesting way of, um, of, you know, talking about that subject. Uh, they talk about a several other subjects and stuff like that, which is, you know, why I, I like Monster High so much. Um, I think they're one of the, one of the many, many reasons why I love Monster High. Uh, and I'm so excited that that is like at the forefront of their message for when they're bringing back Monster High next year. Um, I talked a little bit about the, you know, the new Monster High stuff coming out in my last video, which is when I did, reviewed Miss Jane Boo Little here. So if you want to check that out, I will be putting it up in the iCards as well as a link down below. Um, but anyway, I talked a little bit about it coming back. I don't have a lot of information uh, off the top of my head, and I don't want to say anything that's wrong information. So what I'll do instead is I will find uh, a couple of the videos that I got my information from and link them down below. So if you want to know more about what we do already know um, about Monster High coming back in 2021 or 2022 next year, uh, then check those videos out after you're done watching this video. Watch this video first, because I'm really excited to show you Nathan Rott. So there's not many boy dolls for Monster High. They actually, well, they think that they have probably more boy characters than some other doll lines that I collect. So, um, it's kind of cool, but he is just, he is awesome. First of all, like, I mean, zombies are cool, I guess, but like, unicorn. Hello. I love unicorns. <laughs> I love that. But, um, I think that, and he's, he's also very handsome. <laughs> If I do say so. Oh my gosh. I think that um, he is definitely a handsome character. Um, here's the back of the box with his artwork. He's like being electrified or whatever. This is, oh, this is also when in that movie, I think they, um, a lot of the existing Monster High characters got like m mashed together. So you had like Claudinus, where it's like Claudine and Venus and um, 
Draculaura and Rebecca Steen. What do they call? Is it Rebecca? Or am I thinking of something else as Rebecca? Anyway, um, so like it, there was a few other ones. So, um, but the, it was kind of cool. They had like the mashup thing, and it was actually a really, really fun movie. I definitely recommend this one. Some of the movies are like okay, it's for kids, you know. Like, but um, this is one that I actually really, really enjoyed. Um, but getting back to what I was saying about Nathan, one of the reasons I like him so much is because. His personality was me in high school. He's one of the few Monster High characters that I actually know a little bit of the background because I actually bothered to read it. But um, he's he's clumsy and, um, you know, he's just very friendly and he kind of sometimes feels out of place. Um, but he loves bright colors and stuff like that. He's just a very colorful person. Um, and that was me. <laughs> That's always been me. So this is his... Um, signature doll um so he does come with a bio oh there it is in a, uh, he comes with a journal uh inside all of the all of the characters do for their signature dolls also here is a little blurb about freaky fusion the movie so if you want to know more about that feel free to pause the video and read that so I'm actually going to read you some of the information on the back, and this is why I love Nathan so much, and why I think that I am, like, he is the, the Monster High character that I am most like, or like I was in high school anyway. He mentions that he likes spike details uh, for his stuff that he wears and stuff that wasn't necessarily my aesthetic, but everything else. So um, it says his age is 17, his monster parents are, uh, his dad is a zombie and his mom is a unicorn, uh, which make him what he likes to call a zombie corn, <laughs> which is kind of cool. Um, his killer style, I like spike details to match my horn and bold bright colors because they do a better job at camouflaging the results of my spills and clumsiness. That was me in high school. <laughs> um, I mean, I didn't like bright colors because I was clumsy or, you know, to hide things necessarily, but I was clumsy and I love bright colors. Um, also, <laughs> and I hope this doesn't come across as arrogant, but I think my main and tail looked pretty clawsome and absolutely me. I am obsessed with my hair. I always love doing different colors. Well, right now it's a ponytail day. I need to wash my hair, but <laughs> I always love doing bright colors and fun things with my hair. And it's one of my favorite features about myself. So like, me. <laughs> this is me. <laughs> like, this is, this is my spirit animal right here. Freaky Flaw, uh, there is no hiding the fact that I am just flat out clumsy, and some days I think I could actually trip over the wind. <laughs> Which is a real thing, by the way. <laughs> if you need something dropped, spilled, or broken, I'm definitely your monster. <laughs> so, anyway, that is Nathan. Let me go ahead and get him out of the box, so that way we can take a closer look. I want to see what all he comes with as well, because he comes with a hat. I want to see what he looks like with the hat. I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. But anyway, let's get him out of the box so we'll find out. <laughs> okay, so really quick, um, I just wanted to show you the inside of his box. This is that thing that the characters go through in the movie where they go back in time to see Rebecca's dad. Um, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. And like when they're coming back, then like it fuses them together. So it's kind of cool. I like this. I like the, you know, I was saying in my last video that um, I really like how these um, boxes used to be so good. Like so, like just the, there was a lot of thought put into how they were designed and how they were displayed and stuff like that. So uh, I really like that. Okay. Um, here is Nathan. <laughs> um, I think that this is my new favorite Monster High doll, which is is weird because I usually prefer the girl Monster High dolls because, I, I don't know, I just really like girl dolls. I think that they are very pretty or fe female presenting dolls. You know, like, I like the dolls with, like, the pretty dresses and the long hair and the makeup. Like, that. I just, that's part of the reason why I like dolls. They just look pretty, you know? But, and he's not necessarily, like, in that category. He's not wearing a dress. He's not really wearing, like, super fancy makeup or anything like that. Yes, he has amazing hair, which we're gonna look at here in a second. Um, but I, I don't know. Just, I love it. He is so cool. I think he's just such a good doll like I it's funny because you can feel quality like of course you can but I mean like when it comes to dolls like the weight is a good weight you know like the joints like the he's posable and 
you know, like they hold the pose and he's easy to pose, but he holds the pose really well um, and stuff like that. And by the way, um, they are fully posable, of course, at the head, shoulder, elbow, wrist, the hip, the knee, and the boy dolls also have uh, ankle articulation. Um, I don't know why the boys all get the ankle articulation, but the girls don't. Maybe because the boys usually have flat shoes and the girls always have like high heels, pointy toe ones. But anyway, um, yeah, I think he's probably my new favorite Monster High doll. Um, we'll look more at him here in just a second. I just want to show you his accessories real quick. Um, we have a cl like classic regular Monster High brush but it is in a bright yellow, and I love it. <laughs> um, he has a hat, which we're going to try on him here in just a second, but it's kind of cool. It's got, like, these spikes that look like his unicorn horn, and um, there is places for his ears and his horn to come through, uh, which is really cool, and it's kind of transparent, and it's, like, it's yellow, but, like, I want to call it glitter, but it's not shiny. I don't know if this is as good we're gonna, as we're going to get, but all those little speckles, they're, like, blue confetti or, or blue glitter that's not shiny because usually glitter is like reflective and sparkly that's the point of it but that's what it reminds me of like non-sparkly glitter anyway so here is his diary this one's blue usually they're like black and white but his is blue which <laughs> i love because me <laughs> i okay story time in school especially elementary school um whenever like everybody would have like something to turn in, like a paper or um, like a notebook or something like that. It's funny because most other kids, they'd have like the basic black and white, you know, spiral bound notebooks and stuff like that, or just whatever. Mine would have like Lisa Frank on it, or <laughs> I would have colored all around the edges to give it a nice border and whatever. And it's so funny because um, my mom ran into my fifth grade teacher um, sometime in 2019, I want to say. She went to like an event or a wedding or something where uh, they were mutual friends with my fifth grade teacher. And she brought up um, this thing she had her, because I guess her fifth grade class was like one of her first classes that she taught. And um, she brought up this thing and it was like a picture in the middle and like around was white space and all of us, the whole class signed it. <laughs> I was the only one who signed it and then used like pink highlighter to like circle it and like do a little doodle around. <laughs> So when you look at it, your eye is immediately drawn to my signature. Uh, so yeah, that was me. <laughs> but yeah, that just that made me think of that because usually all of the all of the diaries look like this. But his, no, 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 no. His is like this beautiful, like it's not a cyan. It's not light enough to be cyan, but it's like a sky blue. It's just a light blue color, but it's so pretty. And I, I just. <laughs> Me. He's me. Spirit. This is my spirit animal. I'm telling you. <laughs> Everything about this doll. But anyway, he doesn't really come with any other accessories um, that are separate from what he's already wearing. But anyway, so let's take a look at him up close. So here is his face. Ugh, he is so handsome. Like, and I'm not afraid. To, I'm not ashamed to say it. Yes, it's a it's a doll. He's a doll. A doll is handsome. Um, but he looks really, really good. Um, half of his face looks like nice. And then like you know, whatever, and the other half, kind of, you could see, like, it looks like the outer layer of skin, is, you know, like, is showing his muscles and everything uh, to kind of give that zombie feel. Um, he does have a horn, which is a separate piece of plastic. It is slightly harder plastic, and it is kind of clear, and it's that beautiful, like, turquoise blue color. Um, and then he has long hair, uh, and it's all black, except for streaks of hair in the primary colors, um, like the red, blue, and yellow that everybody learns in elementary school. Uh, and then something I didn't, I don't know how I didn't know this, but I didn't know he has a tail. He actually has a, a tail of hair, like a ponytail, <laughs> separate from the hair up here. That is, that's so cool. Like, even when Equestria Girls dolls came out for their tail, it was just like, still rooted up here, but like longer. Uh, a longer piece of hair, you know, to come down. His is, like, actually coming out of where a tail should come out of. That's so cool. How is it? Is it, like... I don't think it's removable like Torlay's tail is. Yeah, it's not. But it's basically in the same exact spot. So, like, if you had, like, a werecat and, you know, a uh, werecat doll anyway. Oh, his stand is yellow, by the way. Uh, I don't know if I said that. It matches his, um, his brush. But anyway, yeah, so he has a tail, and it's got the same colors. You know, the main color is black, and it's got the other three colors... Um, for the accents. His hair is very thickly rooted, 
which is good. And it's surprising because usually when a doll's hair is put in a ponytail, they usually root the hair a little more sparse just because uh, they don't want it to look too thick or bulky, but they didn't do that for him. He's got like no bald spots, which is good, and no glue seepage, which is really, really good because a lot of the dolls from back in the day have glue seepage. Now, his outfit's really interesting because this is absolutely something I would have worn in the sense of, like, this is, like, the Raglan-style, like, baseball tee um, and just, like, pants or whatever. Like, I don't know. I, I, I always wore shorts. <laughs> Growing up in California, that's, you know, just kind of a, a given. But, like, I always wore shorts. It was That was just basically what I lived in. Um, anyway... And that was because of Lara Croft, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> I was a huge, huge Tomb Raider fan. Uh, always have been. His shoes are really cool. I would absolutely wear these shoes. Um, these are bright yellow Converse, like Converse r -st I can't talk. Converse All-Star High Tops. Uh, that's basically what they are. Um, and then he's got like the little studs on the toe cap. It's just molded on, so you can't really see it as well. Um, it'd be nice if it was kind of painted on, but that's okay. Oh, what's, this is kind of cool. His hands, let me zoom in, it's easier than reaching forward to show you. His hands, like on this side, his hand is like a normal Monster High guy hand. Just like on this side, his face is like a normal face for the most part. But just like on this side, there's extra molded detail. So is there on his hands. That's kind of cool. I like that they followed through with that design. I'm not always the biggest fan of molded on details, but in this case, I think that it's done well, and I do like that. Oh, so I wanted to try his hat on. So here's his hat. Let me see if I can get it on over everything without breaking the horn. Okay, so that's, okay, it's not too bad. There we go. Yeah. All right. So there he is in his hat. Like, it's okay. I like him better without the hat, I think. Or I would probably like it better if I could turn the hat around, but I can't because of the way the um, the horn and the ears are. But um, but that's okay. You know, that, that's cool. If he's going to be outside where it's sunny and he needs a little bit of protection going to Disneyland, I've got my hats here. <laughs> In fact, there we go. Now I've got a hat on too. <laughs> this is my Cheshire cat one. We're all mad here. <laughs> um, but anyway, so yeah, if he's going to Disneyland, he's got, you know, something to protect his eyes from the sun. All right, I'm just gonna take the hat off for now because I kind of like him better without the hat. Um, I also don't want his little, this little tendril of hair right here. I don't want it to get like pushed flat against his head because uh, I think it's like pretty perfect <laughs> the way it's styled right there. Uh, just everything about this, like even the placement of his eyes, like the, the paint, his face paint and everything is perfect. It's, it's not, there's no hint of wonky eye at all. Oh, I, I, I feel like I lucked out because... Um, I don't really see, well, except for a little bit of glue right there. Um, I don't see any, like, defects or anything with this, this particular one that I got. I'm so happy about that. Yeah, I'm so, so happy to have him. Right now, I am kind of on the hunt for, um, the Monster High dolls that I don't have in the sense of, like, character-wise. Um, I don't <laughs> I don't have the money to get every Monster High doll out there like I did with uh, Ever After High. I have almost completed my Ever After High collection. Not all the way. I, um, I don't have all of the dolls because there are still a few that are just kind of expensive. So, uh, so I haven't gotten them yet. Uh, with Monster High, Monster High was in production much longer, and there were many, many more releases, so there's no way I'm going to be able to collect all of them. Uh, so I've just decided to collect the ones that I really like, or pretty much just like one of every character. Um, I, you know, like, I, I'm probably going to stick to one of every character for now. Um, I would prefer to have the signature version of every character. I don't know if there is any other Nathan Rock. I don't think there is any others. I think this is the only one that came out. But did you see him in the Lady Gaga music video, the or the uh, Zombie Gaga video that they did, the Monster High ones, when that doll came out? He was in that, and they did their weird thing where, like, she, like, reached out her hand to help him up, and then, like, the glitter went up and, like, changed him into Rainbow. I kind of want to get a second Nathan Rot so I can do that. Turn him into the the Rainbow version because I'm keeping him as he is. I'm not customizing him at all. He's he's perfect. I don't want to change anything about him. I might 
need to brush out his tail because I kind of messed it up. I don't remember how much I paid for this because it was a, uh, a while ago. I've had it for a few months now. Had him just kind of sitting here. That's the thing. Um, I have a lot of dolls that I have purchased, um, but I haven't opened because I plan to open them on camera. And so they sit around and wait and collect dust. So when I do get around to re reviewing them, they're no longer valid. Um, but Monster High is coming back. I figured it's it's valid for sure for right now. Um, and I am definitely saving my money. I don't know if I'm going to be getting any more um, Rainbow High or OMG dolls or anything um, going forward. Unless if something comes out that I just have to have, sorry MGA, I'm going to be saving my money for when Monster High comes back. Um, like there's so much that that Mattel is going to be putting out that I'm so excited for. They have like new Barbie Extra dolls coming out. Monster High is coming back. Um, Melissa Hunter on My World mentioned that uh, she thinks that Ever After High has a chance of coming back. If that happens, I'm gonna go crazy and y'all know I'm gonna be buying every single one that comes out. But hopefully it's good when it does come out because I'm really excited for it. I'm really, really hoping that when the new Monster High dolls come out, they go back to this. And this. And this. And the, where's Honey Swap? Come here, Honey Swap. And this. <laughs> Go back to this. Like, you know, we, we everybody wants this. You know, I don't I don't care if they have reboot faces, but please, full articulation and good quality hair. And good quality fashions too. I mean, like, they don't have to be rainbow high level quality. I understand that. But just do something good. I'm just really, really looking forward to it. It sounds promising because of the way that they talked about it. But I think Melissa from My World made a really, really good point. This could be either really good or really bad. <laughs> so we're going to have to see how that turns out when the new Monster High dolls do come out. Um, but for now, I'm really happy just kind of like adding some of the older ones to my collection that I wasn't able to get the first time around. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I know it was kind of a little bit of a ramble there at the end, but I'm just really excited for Monster High to come back. Uh, and I'm really excited to add these two to my collection and to find my new favorite Monster High doll. I really like him. I'm so happy I got him. So anyway, thanks so much for watching again, and I hope to see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye. If you like this video, you can let me know by hitting the thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you're notified every time I upload. I post new videos every week Wednesday, except for when I don't and I post them on Thursday. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.